Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Laura and I'm going to be showing you something really fun today. Normally my tutorials are more business oriented, but this one is just something really, really fun. It's a feature in Canva. It zooms in and out. And I thought to myself when I was playing with this, how cool would this look if it was like a magnifying glass or a murder mystery or some kind of crime scene where someone's bringing in the magnifying glass? So I've been having a play and I've come up with something and I'm going to show you what it is. And then we are going to go through on how to recreate it. You don't have to do a magnifying glass or some kind of mystery template. It can be on anything, but you'll get the idea of how the Zoom feature works. Right, let's head over to my screen and I'm going to show you the little video I've made. OK, so here we are. This is my video. It's 14 seconds long. I'm going to press play. You see that Zoom in and out feature. I've not added music to this. Actually, I might add music to it later, but it zooms in and out the crime scene mystery. OK, so we're going to go through how to create something like this. So first of all, we need a template. We need to create our size. Um, I looked at presentations, but you need something where you can play a video on this. So one thing I have found good is if I go back to Canva, back to my home page, I'm going to click on create a design in the top corner and I'm going to type in A4. So if in the if you're in the UK, this is the standard paper size, but you can also use, I think it's American letter. Um, so I, I want to create a A4 size template. Actually, I'm not going to do it from here create a design, A4, and then I'm going to select landscape because I want it that way rather than portrait. This here is portrait. I don't want that. So I'm going to type A4 and then in the drop down, I'm going to select landscape to give myself that blank page. Now, first of all, because I'm creating a more mystery type of template here, I'm going to have a black background. So now I need to add the main elements of my design. So if I go to photos and type in mystery, I'm going to do it with just one photo. In my main video, I've got four, but let's go with just one. Actually, I'm going to type in crime scene and bring up one of the crime scene photos. Okay, so Probably one like this actually would work. That would work really well because you want to bring something out of the template, the design. It could be anything. I'm going to right click and click replace background. So it's now added this photo as my background. OK, so now I want to add in the part that is going to zoom in and out. So as this is a pin board, I'm going to go for um actually i'm going to go for photos and i'm going to type in photo i suppose because i want to frame something like this because it's got a frame it looks right on a pin board you can use an element you can use whatever you want to do this this the feature will still work i'll show you how in a minute so if i make this small so it fits my pin board. I'm going to put it down here. And then I'm going to add a magnifying glass on top. I quite like this one. It is a pro one, but there are free ones as well. OK, I'm just going to make my photo a tad smaller so it can be seen inside the glass. There we go. I mean, you don't have to have the magnifying glass. You can just have the photo as is, but I quite like the effect the magnifying glass has on top. Now I'm going to group these together so that it works in one fluid motion rather than having to do it for both because it, it won't work on two. You just need to have it on one element. You can have multiple different elements within the design, but you have to copy and copy and paste them. So I've grouped these. They are here. OK, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy my page. 
Now, one thing, what you'll find, a lot of designs don't have this bottom bar. They're like this, up and down, up and down. What you actually need is to click this tiny little arrow here and it brings up each template along the bottom. And this is where you can add in this, this new Zoom feature. So I've got two pages. And now I want to go down here because this is the part I need. So I've got my two pages here. It won't go up and down. It won't scroll anymore. That's gone. You have to click this arrow if you want to have your pages up and down. Two, dupli two, two identical pages. And in the middle here, if you hover, if you hover, it will then give you the option to add a new page in between or add a transition. Now, this is the bit we want. So if you click this tiny little button here with a little purple arrow on it, it brings up a new menu and it gives you some different options. Now, what we actually want is to click on our item here click on transition and match and move. I'm going to change the direct duration to a second. And then when we come to the second page, increase the size. Okay. Duplicate this page. Click on it. Come down to your transition, match and move one second and then on the last page decrease the size again and that is it it's all about adding in the transitions in between the pages clicking on the element you want to transition and then adding the transition in between now we've got a small one a big one and a small one because i want it to go from small to big to small so I will now press play and I will show you what we have created. There we go, nice and big. And then it reduces again. The good thing about this is the pages are four and a half seconds long, so you can actually change the duration of the page is visible. So if I change it to two, Apply it to all three, it's then gone from 14 seconds to six seconds. Just brings it up a lot quicker and you eradicate a lot of space either side of your design. So that is it. That is it, basically. You create your template, you add the item on that you want to enlarge, create a new page. You can create all your pages at once if you want to. It's about adding the transition in between, selecting the element, adding the transition, making it big, adding the transition on the next page and bringing it down again in size. And that is it. So go back, rewatch the video, have another look, but I would love to see what you create with this. There we go. What do you think of that? I really like that. I think it's a fantastic thing. You can see why I like the idea of using it with a magnifying glass because it just brings up those clues and those mysteries and it has that, that air about it. I really, really do like that. But like I say, it can be used on anything, any type of design. So I would love to see what you can create with this type of feature. There we go. Don't forget, to follow and subscribe my channel. I have loads and loads of videos happening, lots more planned to come into the channel to grow it and to help everybody learn how to use Canva and even AI. The Canva AI features are amazing. So do check out my other videos on them as well. So that's it from me today. I will be back in the next video.